Welcome back. This season has been one for the history books for Gary Houghton and his Bulldogs. Mason came into today with a pristine 13-0 record. So would they be able to cap off the season with a state crown? The Division Three clash was between unbeaten Mason and Forest Hills Central. And with the Bulldogs making their first ever appearance in the state title game, the Mason community took over Ford Field. After nothing but field goals on the board, senior JT Hartman runs in the first touchdown of the game and gives FHC a 10-point lead heading into halftime. But when the Bulldogs came out, standout running back A.J. Martell was working with the trainer after suffering an ankle injury in the first half. His emotion says it all. Forest Hills Central then started the second half in a big way. Purdue commit Ty Hudkins hauls the pass in and muscles his way into the end zone to put the Rangers up 17, which is Mason's largest deficit of the season. The Bulldogs weren't going down without a fight, though. Derek Badgley scored late in the third quarter to make this a 10-point game, but that is as close as they would get. With Mason going for it on fourth and five, Drew Fortino turns it into a pick six for the Rangers. Mason falls in the state championship game 27-10 to the final. Our sports director Ian Kress was there and has more on the legacy this tough Bulldog squad has built. If you ever want to know what this year's Mason football team was all about, look no further than what we saw in this field on Sunday in the state championship game. A number of key players battling through injury, the latest being standout running back A.J. Martell, who rushed for over 1,200 yards and 25 touchdowns this season. He missed majority of the second half, and I say majority because in the closing moments, he went onto the field to play one last time for his brothers. He's played here for four years, um, holds a ton of records. He's been he's been a leader for this program, and I think it was the right thing to get him in and let him let him get some recognition. To get on the field and just look to my right and see uh, pretty much the whole city of Mason there, and saw my dad. <laughs> it was great, you know. Obviously, I wanted to be on the field more, but. <laughs> the coaches put me back in. They knew I really couldn't do anything, and I knew it too. But uh, we've gotten really close, me and the coaching staff and this team, and just to be able to wrap up the season with them was indescribable. I think just the biggest takeaway is just, you know, going out with my guys. I mean, you know, it was just a great last game, you know, making it to Ford Field, getting over that hump of losing in the semis, and, you know, we all we tried our best. And, and while the Bulldogs are crushed with this outcome, they also know this senior class left a legacy that will never be forgotten. They won the program's first ever regional title, then won two more, and they became the first team in program history to reach the state championship game. At Ford Field, Ian Kress, Six Sports.